beautiful welcome back to another vlog this morning i'm taking some time to do my grocery list i've got my groceries due in a few days time and i like to be ahead by sorting out my groceries putting it together my weekly planner and sourcing it so that it's prepared for the shop because i do online shopping over going to the actual store sometimes we do go to the store obviously to get like top-ups and that but for the most part i do do an online store so i'm gonna show you how i do my weekly planning and my weekly shop. as you can see i I've taken off all my other calendars and left my weekly planner calendar so that it's clear it's simple and easy to work with I shop every two weeks for my groceries so I would only prepare the weekly planner for the two weeks the next two weeks I'll do another weekly planner it's just a lot easier it's bite-sized I'm not overwhelmed I know where my, where my money's going and I know what I'm expecting and how to manage and also with like your fridge and your freezer or your storage area you can kind of keep it succinct and know that these are things that you're going to use for the two weeks and then if you have any bulk items or any leftover bits and bobs there's space for that as well I normally plan my meals by familiarity so things that I like to eat I'm Nigerian so I'll put jollof rice on there, I'll put effo on there, I'll put fried rice on there, those kind of things. And then for the kiddies, they like to have like the mac and cheese, pasta bakes, lasagna, like to have like they eat fried rice and Nigerian food also. And then for my husband, he eats Nigerian food but he will also add some Caribbean food in there. When you are doing shopping and you have a family, be sure to ask them what they'd like on the shopping. I'm not really a snacky, snacky, snacky person, but I know I've got, I've got kids and my husband eats snacks. So I always make it a thing to ask the kiddies, what would you like on the shopping? Would you like anything special? And they always say their little bits and I always get it for them so that they can feel included in the shopping, included in our family, and that they are rest assured that the thing that they ordered is right there in the house and then we have things like, okay, this week you can get this and next week you can get this. And they know that because I get it all the time, they have that confidence that I get to choose this and next week I can pick another thing and just a little joy for the kiddies as well. So that's a good tip if you have kids. Usually I will try and bring in a new meal every month something new just to wean it in and then see how it goes because sometimes the kids are like no and some of the kids are like yes I like this and I want to eat it again so that's how I source all my foods I look on Pinterest I look on YouTube TikTok recipes um one of the local supermarkets do give out magazines and there's some recipes in there and then I can just make up your own or you just have some stuff that you already know growing up your favorite dishes that your parents have may have had or your auntie or whatever or your granny you can just bring those in as well one last tip I have for you you. make sure when you are doing your shopping to go through what you already have so you don't have duplicates of certain things if you're trying a new recipe you might already have some of the ingredients at home which saves a lot of money why i don't know why i was doing an advert but yeah anyway add in a few meals into the calendar i know when i'm going to get my shopping in which is on the 10th and i'm going to add in a first meal just to start what i'll do is add in some meals and then i'll move things around according to the days of the week and according to how much food I want to prepare for. The more you do it, the more you will know like what, because I would just write jollof rice and grilled chicken, but I know that I'm going to have a salad with it. But because I do it all the time, I already know to buy the salad. It will be in the ingredients and things. So I'm gonna have two leftover days. So what I'll do is I'll add the leftovers in and I'll move it around. So I'll have a leftover maybe here and then I'll have another leftover maybe there. As you can see I've put a few meals in there as it is and what I'm now going to do is say okay when I get the groceries we're going to have burgers okay the next day I would have a vegetarian meal so I'll move the rice and chicken to the other side after that I'll go into one of the the meal plans and here where it says description that's where I would write in the ingredients um, we usually like to eat some gherkins with it. Um, what else? Some salad bits. So, like, to be specific, lettuce, cucumbers. I'm on Pinterest now. 
and I wanted to find a brand new meal of how to make something. Say I wanted to make um, potato salad. I'll go to the website, go to the recipe, and I will copy the whole, the whole of the ingredients. Potato salad. I will put in my ingredients that I copied. And then I'll also put in the website. Because it's a new meal, I'll copy that, that in too. So that when, I, when it comes to me cooking it, I will click onto the recipe. I've got everything I need already from the Tesco or from the grocery shopping. And then I will just start making it. I'll go right back to the website and hit the instructions and then we can start. Once you are at your grocery store or once you are online, you can just start shopping for everything that you've listed, everything you need. I will shop for everything for the recipes, but then I also have other things for the household, like toilet roll, baby wipes, toilet cleaner, spray, this, that, and the other. And I'll just add that on. And I have a bulking system. So I choose between four and six products to bulk every single month. And so I only choose out of one of the two week shops to bulk up. So for instance, I'm gonna bulk up on my bathroom spray. I'm gonna bulk up on hand wash. I'm gonna bulk up on bubble bath and chopped tomatoes or something. Those are things that I'll bulk up on. I have space to bulk and every month I'll rotate that. So I don't have to worry about chopped tomatoes, toilet roll and whatnot. I can now do toothpaste and whatever else and keep going every single month. And so what happens is you just start having like surplus in the house and you don't need to buy certain things anymore. You just have a rotation where things are always there. And it works out perfectly because how many times have we been caught with like there's no soap or there's no toilet roll or anything but I know that it's always there and it always will be there because I have a system to work with. That's how I do my Tesco shop. I'm going to continue working on that right now because I actually do have a shop to prepare for and then I will speak to you in a little bit. low iron sometimes I'm just praying through that okay but I have been taking Floridix for the last year and a half I've re recommended that before and I just got a brand new bottle um, again and I use Holland and Barrett to buy my vitamins and have it on a subscription and the more you subscribe the more discounts you receive so this i know is about 20 something pounds but i got it for 14 pounds the big bottle because i've been subscribing to them comes with this lid at the top which is basically the dispenser and you pour it in take your shot and you're good it says to take before you eat and I was basically looking at it said twice a day, but I can't remember. Why do I think it's twice a day? I don't think it's twice a day. I take it once a day in the evening, before dinner, and then we're good. And obviously keep up your water intake as well, because it's really, really strong. I do need to go into Holland Barrett or check their website and find some vitamins that I need, like women vitamins and calcium, blah, blah. I did read about calcium. Apparently you shouldn't take calcium because it stores in your body and then it doesn't benefit you in the future, in like long term. So with vitamins and things like this, I don't actually take them every single day, even though it says to you, I'll probably take them like three times a week, just so that my body has time time to sort of heal itself, because I'm not going to rely on medication all the time. I haven't taken proper vitamins for a very long time, I've just been taking the Floridix, but I do want to amp up, especially because it's coming to winter time, amp up my vitamins and some, try and find some herbal stuff as well like just to build up the immune system especially for the kids as well and when i do get the kids stuff i'm not going to mention now but i have mentioned before in a long time ago vlog but when i do buy the stuff for the kiddies um i will show you that too because you want to boost the, the immune system for like the colder times and stuff like that <laughs>
and it is vlogtober right now so i'm gonna catch up and watch some vlogs while ashley's home today so he went to pick up the girls and he took the twins with him so i'm having a little time by myself and i'm just gonna catch up on some vlogs and enjoy my cup of tea i don't have a donut <laughs> i wish i had a donut now because that donut was so good it was like salted caramel um with white chocolate on top and i love white chocolate but anyway i'm just gonna get into the vlogs It's later on in the evening now and I'm just preparing some chicken for dinner and we have so much leftover so I'm just going to make the chicken to go with the pasta and the rice. Here's a hack that I want to show you. So if you've got some onion that's half cut, you wrap it in some foil and it cuts out the smell and it keeps it fresh for at least a week in the fridge. Well, no. <laughs> 